crossbow. Call it, Bob. Accept the results of the die as it lies or re-roll. Now. Dude, re-roll is a bad omen. It's a runner, Bob. I wouldn't trust it. Take the re-roll. No way. Sister Blisters never let me down in a pinch. I'm taking the results, BA. See it. Hooty hoo! It's an 18! I made it! <laughs> Jesus! Who the hell let the Colonel in? Hi. I had him in the garage, guys, I swear. Dave must have let him in when he paid for the pizza. Made? I must have been the big guy when he made a soda run. Hey, hey, don't even try it. I always enter backwards looking for that damn cat just to be sure. You all right, Bob? Foul beast. I think he drew blood this time. Damn it. Sister Blister was on a hot streak. I'd love that die. She's gone now. Gone, gone, gone. Get right her off, dude. You ain't never seen that die again. Yep, another die lost to the Colonel's horde. Who cares? Bob disarmed the trap and unlocked the grate. That's all that matters. Let's get to it. Who cares? I care, you jerk. That was a Dexter Crombie D20. You know how many hackerjack box tops I had to save to get it? It was for a good cause, Bob. Relax. You'll be at GaryCon next week. You can buy another one. Another one? Sarah. It was a named die. She was a performer. You can't just buy a die like that off the shelves. Besides, you know what a Dexter Crombie goes for these days? 20 bucks, easy. Might as well be a hundred. I'm flat broke. I'm into debt buying all those hacker jacks. I had to take an advance on my allowance from she. Sarah's right, dude. It was for a good cause. My hunch is right. We're almost to crawl's end. We're close, guys. I can feel it. Okay, VA. Let's see what we have here. I slowly push open the gate. I have my crossbow at the ready, just in case. What do I see? As you push on the grate, the hinges groan under the weight of the iron bars as half a millennia of a crude rust complains and breaks free. Guys, we have flavor text. <laughs> Everyone on their toes. A blast of stale air sweeps across your faces and tussles your hair, momentarily causing the torch to flicker. A small, cloistered chamber is revealed within approximately 10 feet in diameter. And there, standing before you on the opposite wall, two large bronze doors, sealed with the embossed sigil of Lord Vectra himself. Holy crap! Guys! I think this is it, we made it! The doors are adorned with writing and strange glyphs. I think I'm gonna take out my Hackmaster Plus 12 BA. Careful guys, easy. What's it say, can I read it? It's a stern and ominous warning. Repeated in a dozen different languages and scripts, it simply reads, death to anyone who breaks the seal. <laughs> Sounds like an invitation to me. At last, the infamous inner chamber of the Demi Lich Vectra. Oh, and did you say that seal was still intact? Oh, man. I cast a bash door spell. Whoa, dude, how about letting the thief do his job here? Yeah, at least check for traps. Give us a heads up so he can back up. Jerk. For crying out loud, Brian, what happened to protocol? Uh, sorry, sorry, but I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Black Lotus is a little antsy. Sorry, Brian, no take backs. As a result of your compulsive action, your spell goes off. The impact rips the doors from his hinges and sends them flying. The reverberation of their clattering and clanging across the stone tiles echoes throughout the entire dungeon. Oh, oh. crit me, please. Every wandering monster in the damn place is gonna descend on us. Hush! Let him finish. A large circular room with a dome ceiling is revealed beyond the portal, and in the middle of the room, an altar. Magical flames dance around each corner of the large marble block, and lying in the center of the altar, on a velvet pillow, a severed head. A hand. The hand is adorned with dozens of rings, arcane tattoos, and bracelets. Holy crap. Brian was right. He nailed it. The legendary hand of Vectra. 
The rumors were true. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, I knew it. We better destroy it, guys. Quickly, before it's too late. Say what? You don't destroy the most powerful relic in the Hackmaster GMG. Brian, it's evil. Yeah, so? So I thought the entire point in us coming here was to safeguard the world from it by destroying it. Hello, most powerful relic in the book. I sliced off my own hand. What? Dude. Uh, I attached the hand to the nub. Dave, what on earth are you doing? The hand is mine. Oh, no, no way. I'm closer, B.A. I pull out my axe and chop off my hand. Choppity chop. That artifact is going on this bloody stump right here, bub. Well, okay. Uh, if that's the way it's going to be, uh, Dave, Brian, roll initiative to see who can chop off their own hand the quickest. Brian, you get a plus two for using an axe. Damn it! All I have is this stupid crossbow. Somebody loan me a dagger. Don't forget, I'm using my Hackmaster plus 12. Wait! So you all are actually rolling off to see who can maim themselves first? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I won! I won the roll! <laughs> Dave is still sawing away, but my hand's laying on the ground. Har har, loser. No, my hand's still up. I'm gonna wrestle with Big O for it. Congratulations, Brainiacs. You both managed to chop off your own hands. Question. Which hand did you cut off? Huh? Which hand? I already told you which hand. I sliced off my hand. The right or the left? Right or left? Uh-oh. Wait, Brian. The legendary hand of Vectra, is it a righty or a lefty? <laughs> What's the matter, Dave? A little rusty on our knowledge of ancient artifacts and major relics, are we? <laughs> I need an answer, guys, now. Um, uh, I cut off my left hand. No, no, my right hand. No, uh, I cut off my left hand? No, I cut off my right hand. <laughs> you blew it! <laughs> I'm afraid that's a lefty line there on the altar. I'm afraid Brian's right, Dave. The hand's no good to you. Brian, I guess you get it. Wait. I can't let this happen. That hand is an evil relic. Its powers can only be used to further evil. Even now, it's affecting my comrades. Zaire is lawful, good, and has taken a vow to fight evil. I draw my sword and attempt to stop Brian. Sarah, what the hell are you doing? You're standing against me? It's nothing personal, Brian. I'm just playing my character. If you attach that hand to your stub, you'll become an agent of evil. I can't let that happen. Oh, come on, Sarah. We've never faced off against each other. Step aside. I've got your back, Sarah. For those of you with severed hands, you're losing five hit points around from arterial bleeding. Right after I tie off my stub. Psst, B.A., while they're fighting, can I grab the hand? Sure, nothing's stopping you. Sweet. <laughs> ha! Numb dice, listen up. While you were busy chopping off your hands and bickering, I grabbed the hand. Let's play a game, shall we? Bob's Artifact Auction. Hand goes to the highest bidder. Bidding starts at 5,000 GPs. Well, now, this is interesting. Ha! Suck on that persimmon and let the taste sink in while I grab a root beer. Offers will be considered momentarily. He, he can't do that! Looks like he just did. Colonel Prowler? Kitty? Son of a... Somebody snagged the last root beer. God! Dave, you scared the crap out of me! The Colonel's on the loose! Dude, I don't have five Gs, but I'll give you four, and I'll throw in my magic cow. Chelsea! Really? Well, what do you say? Bob, 
I will give you six if you destroy it right now. I'll need to liquidate some assets when we get back to town, but you know you can trust me. Hey, hey, we're talking here, okay? Private conversation. Dude, I had that saddle custom made. I'm giving it to you. Interesting. I'd like to consider all offers before I decide who Here's I'm... my big Bobby boy. My fist in your face. That hand is rightfully mine. My research brought us to it. Now hand it over. Now. Is that Prowler? Damn it! Well, did you decide what you're doing? Hmm. As tempting as offers are, I'm going to have to go with Dave's bid. Sorry, Sarah. I've always had my eye on that cow. Hey, tell you what. Throw in the mahogany yoke and the golden bell and it's a deal, dude. Done. Say, would you help me cut off my other hand? You can use my Hackmaster plus 12. Oh. Dave, think about what you're doing. I'm telling you, that hand is evil. It will destroy you. <laughs> I'm warning you, Bob. That hand is mine. Give it up. Dave, Brian, both of you are still bleeding pretty bad. B.A., I'm taking Dave's sword and I'm hacking off his other hand. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Bob, but your character is not proficient in the two-handed sword, so you're gonna make the attack at a negative four penalty. No problem, if I miss, I'll just roll again. Easy, dude, make it a clean cut. I've got to stop this, but I hate attacking my teammates. Damn, I rolled a one, a fumble. Wait, what? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Bob, instead of severing his hand, you missed and cut off his arm at the shoulder joint. Sorry, Dave. You take 10 points of damage and you are bleeding even more profusely now. Um, sorry, dude. You stupid jerk! You did this on purpose! I mean, now what the hell am I supposed to do? I got no hands! Serves you right, losers. Hey, relax! I'm gonna attach the hand of Vector to your shoulder. It's magical, isn't it? Maybe it'll grow a new arm for you. Well, do something. I feel exposed here. I can't even wield my sword! <sighs> Another Polaroid moment coming up. B.A., I attach the hand to El Ravager's shoulder. Anything happen? I'll say that it begins melding with the flesh instantly. Uh, sorry, Dave, you don't grow a new arm. You now have a hand attached to your shoulder joint. I'm sorry, dude. I meant well. <laughs> Guess you won't be needing your sword back. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny, man. Fix me, make it right. <laughs> nice try, loser. B.A., I'm taking that axe. Hacking that hand off Dave's body. Not like he can do anything to stop me. <laughs> B.A., I'm loading a bolt of main screwing on my crossbow of doom. Right, I'm doing still, a hell of shoulder roll. Do. Taking evasive action. You're making it worse. Oh, yeah. Definitely a Polaroid moment. crossbow Time goes slow Drag through the work we can wait for tonight and Here we go My sheet's on the table I'm ready to fight and Whether we're running from the Doomsday Pack or in Muncie Ski Tunnels Brave in the Black or another back door cause Crossbow
Colonel Preller. Kitty. Son of a... Somebody snagged the last root beer. 